fast and Wizard World of Big Hand. City councilors, they didn't show up. Where are they? I don't see them. Right? Anyway, I'd like to say that I'm very pleased uh, to see everybody here and my great-grandfather Sam, who uh, kind of invented the Ghostbusters when he was researching all the psychic research back in the 1920s. He would be, he's, he's, he's dancing inside, dancing in his grave, not whirling in his grave. His spirit goes on and uh, he'd be very pleased to see what we have here today. Before the first movie came out, no one knew what ectoplasm was. Now millions do. You certainly do. <laughs> when we did the first movie, you know, we needed a counterpoint. We needed an authoritarian figure. We needed a human villain. And we said, we're not going to get a guy who's coming, going to take this part and try to be funny. We need a real actor. So we found a graduate of the a program in drama at Carnegie Mellon, a theater veteran, stage veteran, and a a fine, fine actor is what we needed for the part. He's with us tonight, William Atherton. Welcome back. Now today, today in this world, the administration we have now, in the movie, of course, he was right down on us for environmental uh, protection violations. Today, he'd go, it's okay, we, we let them, the regulations are gone, do what you want to do with this radiation. He'd be, he'd be supporting. Also, we, we needed someone, we needed the everyman, we needed the, the, the few. Someone who would never, who would come in and display, like, accept what we were telling them not believing, then believing, and then becoming an ally and a founder of the Ghostbusters. Uh, Ernie Hudson, Winston Zenimore. Um, before we before we go on, I've got some housekeeping here for everybody's benefit. We got a few more surprises. Uh, soon, uh, on the 35th anniversary celebration, we're going to have the GB1 and GB2 uh, 4K Ultra HD uh, set, all kinds of new footage, a limited edition. There'll be new discs, uh, including two hours of uh, footage that you haven't seen. I haven't even seen some of it. Outtakes, uh, including Fort Denver and the full sex act. Yeah, she gets the pants off. Yep. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry children, that's just a joke. <laughs> and I'm sure they seem worse, you know. Grade 7, they know everything now. Uh, and uh, the original uh, 1984 exhibitor reel uh, that we showed people uh, to sell the movie. Um, so uh, there'll be some cool features uh, included in this limited edition anniversary steelbook. And there'll be a clip after uh, we're done to show you what's up there. Uh, now, I wrote this script. It was a lot different from the movie we made, but it had the elements there, it had Ecto-1, it had the hardware, the system, the traps, it had Mr. Stay Puft, it had that world. But what we needed, we, we, needed a, we needed a cineast, we needed a filmmaker, we needed a, someone that uh, was effective in delivering uh, mass appeal comedies with intelligence and grace, someone who could direct actors and also handle uh, the massive special effects and the, uh, the huge production that, uh, that ensued once we got the movie going. And there was only one man, a favorite of ours in our generation, he's here tonight, Ivan Reitman. And, uh, Ivan, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's so great to be here. When I was fortunate enough to get the script from Danny and then work with him and with Harold and later with Bill and the rest of the cast, it was really one of the greatest experiences of my life. And it's amazing here, 35 years later, it's actually exactly tonight. And I just want to thank all of you for being here, for coming and seeing us tomorrow. We're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow. And of being so loyal and have, have hung out and have created 
uh, groups all over the world, built your own ectomobiles, your own backpacks, and just being so supportive of this film and so supportive of me. And uh, I really appreciate that. So, <laughs> thank you. And one of the other great experiences of my life is uh, are, are my children, and um, I'm very proud of them. And, and you know, you may have heard that a, a very fine director has written this extraordinary script and that has really blown us all away, blown Sony away, and we're gonna, and he's gonna deliver this extraordinary movie for uh, 2020, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce Jason Wright. You guys are full of crap. <laughs> what do you say? Let's watch the movie, huh? Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow at Fan Fest. It's going to be just so great. Thanks. Have a good time.